Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Do you remember in the day one coverage, I did this pocket piano coverage and that was so cool. I got something a lot along those lines that I wanna cover right now. Piano de Voyage is a French company. They've got this, um, not like pocket piano, but different. So let me switch over to Dorian now, who's gonna cover that for us. Hi, so this is the Piano de Voyage. Uh, it's an entirely compact hammer action modular keyboard that you can disassemble into these small modules, as you can see, and you can fit it in a suitcase or, for example, in your backpack. We have two versions. We have one version with spring action. This is model A right there. And we have got our new version, model B, with hammer action inside of it. I can show you the assembly mechanism. So basically we have these pins there, and you put it in place, you screw them together, and the good thing is that once it's assembled, it's completely solid and you can put it on a stand like this one, for example. Uh, it's both a MIDI controller and a keyboard with its own sound card inside. So it's a, it has a bank of MIDI sounds, and uh, you've got a few buttons that you can customize through our web app, which you can see on the computer right now. So if you're interested, uh, this new model will be available soon on our website, which is pianodevoyage.com, right there. Man, how cool was that? So anyway, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try and get some sample review units in here of that and hopefully Pocket Piano as well. Maybe be able to compare the two of them. We'll see. the Kurzweil SP7. On that information placard, I went ahead and said that it was a 4.3 inch color touchscreen and 500 megabytes of factory samples. It's actually a seven inch color touchscreen, which is much, much better, and two gigabytes of factory samples. Again, much, much better. Unfortunately, I took a picture of that placard before it was taken down, this is the correction to that. Also, I wanted to mention Chris Martirano demoing the SP7 from Kurzweil. A lot of what you saw there was not specific to the SP7, but basically meant to be a general direction for Kurzweil and a lot of their future products. So that is another cool thing. Anyway, hope you gained something out of this Piano Man Chuck. Peace out. Thanks for watching.